guys. Here we have another video interview with one of the team members of Igma. Sitting right beside me is our CEO and founder, Woo. <laughs> Luis Sevilla, our founder. Whoa! A few days ago, I asked you guys on Instagram uh, if there's anything you wanted to know about Luis, if you had any questions for him. And here I have the questions and I got Luis here to possibly and hopefully answer these questions truthfully. With some interesting answers. With some interesting answers. Let's hope. Let's hope, yeah. Okay. So are you ready, Luis, for your interview? I suppose. Okay, very good. First question. <laughs> this is from Kami Kylie. Do you regret retiring from coaching career? And do you still talk to FNC member Reckless? Okay, that's a question? That's, yeah, it's okay, two so questions. It's two questions so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I don't regret. Uh, do regret it? No, not really. Like, to be honest, I really enjoy coaching. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, coaching league requires a lifestyle that it's something that I don't like at all. It's like it's uh, really urgent, really stressful. It's really urgent because League of Legends as a game, it's patching frequently. There's patches that modify the game. So every three weeks, it's like the game is different. And you have to basically rework all your strategies. And it's like constantly you have to repeat what you were doing before. And that's only on the, on the game side. On the human side, you're constantly having issues, nonstop. So uh, this league format where there's changes all the time in the game, plus all the stress, all the, all the environment, all the competition, all this, it's like, as a lifestyle, it's, for me right now, it's a bit too much. Yeah, but I guess when you're 17, 18... Yeah, or 20, 20, 20. something, yeah. When you're that, that age, you, you have all that energy. I'm, now I'm super old, I'm 32. You're not super old. <laughs> for <laughs> for esports, actually, I'm pretty old. Okay. But any, anyway, um, back then when I was coaching Fanatic, basically I was a one-man army. I was doing everything regards coaching from... I wouldn't say psychologist, nutritionist, performance, but actually I was doing parts of everything plus strategy plus, you know. Now there's multiple people for the role that I had back then. Okay. So if now you're three or four guys doing what I was doing back then, then probably it's it's easier to handle this and, and do it properly. But yeah, like I kind of miss kind of coaching or teaching because I really enjoy uh, teaching and coaching, but I don't miss that lifestyle and that uh, coaching in competition. Yeah. And anyway, answering the second part of the question, so I, I don't really keep in, in constant touch with, uh, with the guys like the, the players back then, but from time to time we, we talk, like let's say for a birthday or for example, uh, Reckless came to Madrid for the finals, uh, uh -huh. and this was in December I think, uh, anyway a few, a few months back and we were talking for, I don't know, like two hours or whatever. When I had the opportunity to meet them, we just catch up and yeah. we are really friendly, yeah. but it's not something that we are constantly yeah, yeah just like good friends yeah exactly like good friends you just catch up from time yeah. to time cool nice second question second question this question is from nerton nertron what's next after digma's keyboard mm, what's next we are going to be developing a, a keyboard and a mouse kind of at the same time yeah don't do like if you don't know it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the idea is to do kind of a more simple keyboard, more focused to, towards uh, gamers, towards kind of like a more broad approach, not so uh, kind of niche on the ergonomic side. And the mouse, it's more like the race version of the mouse, more on the hardcore, more hardcore ergonomics, more like a very complex and innovative uh, product. It's kind of like a kind of a bit of a crazy concept that we want to develop with a ton of cool features. I, I hope that with all this knowledge that we've acquired, uh, all the process now are much faster. Yeah. Uh, so it shouldn't take as long as, as Race, but because it's a new product uh, and the design probably is going to be pretty crazy, uh, it's going to be challenging and it will take some time. Nice, cool. That's, an ex that's exciting news. Yeah. Next question, number three. Did he go to college and did he enjoy it? This is from YG 
underscore MVRC20. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, so I didn't uh, go to college, to university, right? Same thing. Yeah, so uh, maybe fun, fun story. What What's the last course before university? High school. High school? So For the, some high school, I think some also take like a year between high school and university. For okay. some countries okay sure. so i never finished my high school studies oh yeah i actually uh, repeated three times the last year and the reason behind this is that i i went to the last year and i didn't want to study and i just um passed the few ones that i liked i never passed any of the other subjects and basically i was playing basketball in the playground oh. so i never really go to class so uh, through the years, I just had uh, some random jobs. I was um, doing the stuff that I wanted to do while I was studying and just uh -huh. repeating courses until uh, I discovered poker. Oh and yes. Then, yeah, and basically became a professional poker player. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to that in an another interview. Yeah, in another moment. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I had a pretty pretty successful poker career, and then when I was started at poker, I jumped into League of Legends into coaching, and I had a kind of career, successful career there and then I jumped into this and uh, another successful well I wouldn't say it's still successful we're still manufacturing this little boy you know but we're we're working on it yeah we, I hope that this will become a very successful project of course. same I think we're all hoping and also our fans <laughs> we have yeah. a few fans <laughs> a few <laughs> yeah maybe one who, or are, two. who are rooting rooting for hey, us if i have five questions at least we have five fans exactly and that's all you need yeah well actually we need more we need than, more but it's more okay than five guys okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. we'll we'll get there slowly oh i like this next question this is it this is the question what is the most important lesson have you learned in life the most important you've learned in life the most important the lesson. most important this is from Reboys. Reboys. Deep question. The most important lesson. Okay. The most important lesson you learned in life. Mm. That's a hard question. Yeah, it's actually really hard. Um, I wouldn't say there's one most important lesson. Okay. I would say there's many very important lessons. And depending on the phase of my life, kind of a quick answer, something that I consider critical, in that um most people that i meet or know about they don't do properly mm -hmm. is that they don't do enough and by doing is like you can study a lot of things you can plan a lot you can design a lot but your plans and designs are studies basically go to shit when you face reality and because reality is really unexpected in, ma in many senses but the thing is like planning is actually useful to kind of prepare you mentally for what's gonna come but yeah. then what, what's coming it's gonna be really different, different and really difficult so from my point of view the people or kind of the workers that have more value are the workers that really are facing challenges all the time and to face challenges all the time you need to be doing all the time there's people that think oh i need to be extremely prepared i need to be so well prepared no, actually, you need to know enough to be able to do something that adds value to someone. So you kind of start rolling, right? Yeah. And then when, when you start rolling, you start facing problems, working with other people, yeah. working with clients. Adapt. Yeah, you learn. You learn from this client. Okay, this my boss is an idiot. My client is, I have these problems with him or whatever. And then you, you start understanding how you can do better your job. And you start learning things. So there, there has to be a balance where you yeah. you spend some time designing, some time doing, some time analyzing, reflecting. Yeah. yeah, but I think the key concept is to never stop doing, you know, doing something. Yeah, doing something. Yeah, something that moves you forward in some yeah. direction. Actually, never stop learning is is uh, uh, critical too. If you're doing all the time, it's impossible that you're not learning all the time because yeah. you cannot just do and not, not learn. learn. Yeah, exactly. So if you are doing, you will be learning, and if you're forcing yourself to learn, probably with that knowledge, you will start doing stuff too. So this kind of uh, interconnected? Correlate. Correlate, okay, yeah. So this is intertwined or connected. And yeah, so yeah, this is kind of a tough answer, tough answer. But you answered it pretty well. <laughs> Thank you. I like, in different phases of my life, I would have answered different things. And maybe that's a good answer for, for now. For now. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> good job. Thank you. Good job. Short question, what did you play as a kid? 
from Dyson Chips? Like Sports. I play basketball. As yeah. a kid. Yeah, as a kid at all. Uh, video games. Um, I had a Game Boy. Yeah, I played the, the, all the random games. Like I remember when I was a kid that my father bought me. I, I don't even know the English word. Um, what you put in the Game Boy that has the game? The slots. Slots. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. The drives. Drives. I don't know. You know what I mean. I, I hope this because. <laughs> no, that's the super nice. No, no, yeah, but the, the same thing. Yeah, basically yeah. the same thing. Okay, anyway, so it had like 130 games. Wow. It, yeah, so I play every single game there until I kind of beat the machine in, in every game. I would play Super Mario and all, yeah. and all these things. And uh, I have a PlayStation, I love playing Tekken and, and then uh, computer games. I played uh, Ultima Online. I don't know if you know, it's kind of an old game. Really, really cool game. And, uh, and League of Legends. No, but uh, I was not a kid anymore. Ah, yes. I mean, I started playing League when I was 20 something. Okay. Yeah, so I think I played Ultima Online when I was like 12 or something okay. like this. And actually, they learned any kind from that, that game. Oh, so it's really your gamer name? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? My mother gave me this name. I right? don't know. <laughs> we can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I want the gamer name. You're actually Nixie, no? That's my nickname. My That's mom gave that to me. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? Why? People have nicknames. Okay, Nixie. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Dominique. <laughs> so, Louise, thank you again for being here and for answering the questions that your fans uh, posted on Instagram. Now, guys, we'll be doing more interviews like this with our other members. The next uh, person we will interview is Matt, our CTO. So if you have any questions for him, you can write it down in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly uploads. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Bye. Bye.